Janelle and this is to DIY for and I am thrilled about how amazing today's DIY is and what a great dollar store hack it is. I think it might be the best one I've ever come up with and possibly the best dollar store hack I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, so these frames are all over the internet. I see them on Pinterest, I see them on Etsy, I have friends who build them and make them and sell them. So I've been trying or meaning to do a DIY like this for quite some time because I know they are popular pieces for people. Now I was about to go to the hardware store and pick up all the wood and figure out all the measurements and build this frame at home and have a horrible time doing it. And then I realized as I was walking through the dollar store that all I needed to do was buy a single item and just flip it around, use it in a total different way and paint it. And this is what I come up with. So it is such a simple DIY, let's get into it. At the Dollarama, you can pick up these wooden canvases. When you flip the canvas over, oh, what's that? It looks exactly like these signs that I see all over the internet. This just needs to be stained, the back needs to be painted, and we need to put a saying on it. Now, look what else I found at the dollar store. A perfect vinyl stencil that we can use. So this is, I'm just so excited about this. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how you can put this together. It's gonna be so much quicker than actually building this wooden frame and so much cheaper because um, together this costs less than $6. So for my first step, I'm just gonna give it a nice little light sand everywhere, even though it is all pretty well smooth. I wipe the surface off once you've sanded it off. So what you're going to want to do is tape the inside so that we don't get any stain on the base here of the board, which we will later be painting white. Okay, so once you have it all taped off, uh, you're going to go ahead and take your stain and just stain the frame. Now, I would probably still try and be very careful with this, um, even though the tape is here, I'm not sure how it might possibly leak through. Okay, so it's a little bit of bleeding, but hopefully we can cover that up with the paint afterwards, which I think we should be able to. Um, I've allowed all of that to dry overnight. I'm going to be using these wall decos that I picked up at the dollar store for $1.50 and um, yes, you don't have to use these because yes, you're limited to the sayings that there are with the dollar store, but otherwise you're going to have to try and freehand it or need a vinyl cutter of some sort to put your own little stencil. So this is what I'm using instead. So the whole design is cleared out. I left the stars because I don't really like them. And I'm just gonna go on with some black acrylic paint now. And when you're doing stenciling, you don't wanna be too heavy with the paint, but I'm gonna kind of stipple it on. And uh, hopefully this looks good. So once you're done stenciling, of course you're just gonna do the big reveal. And I really hope this worked good. good as I wanted it to be but that's okay not half bad so I'm kind of thinking what I should or could have done instead was leave the lettering down as vinyl and not even paint and just leave the stickers of the lettering down. Kind of like these stars here. And all you're really going to want to do now is just cover everything with a nice thick coat of polyurethane. You might want to do a couple of coats just to protect it. And of course go over the wood as well.
greatest dollar store hack ever. I mean, I feel pretty proud about it. I love that you don't have to know how to use power tools or really build anything yourself. And I maybe spent $5 putting this entire thing together. Yes, I had the varnish and the, you know, the wood stain and the paint at home already, but it's fairly inexpensive to make considering people sell these for 30 plus dollars online. Now, yes, the dollar store route is uh, a little bit limited. You're limited to the size of frame that you're getting. They do have a smaller size frame as well. And you are limited with the sayings, like the stickers that I picked up. So if you don't like those, your other options would be, uh, you know, freehanding it if you're good at that. Uh, you could also possibly find a, a vinyl cutter. Maybe you own one. Maybe you know somebody who has one and you can get whatever saying you want or maybe try and use the stencils that you already own at home. But I'd love to know what you think of this DIY and this dollar store hack. If you think it's as great as I do, please give the video a like. And if you try it out at home, I'd love to see what yours looks like. So send me some photos on Instagram and on Twitter. You can follow me at Janelle Steeper. Just make sure you tag me in those photos. Now, coming up, I wanna do some holiday Christmas related DIYs, of course, as we're getting into the season. But I'd love your input on this. I put up a poll on uh, the community tabs not too long ago and asking what kind of holiday Christmas DIYs you wanna see. So is it decor? Is it clothing? Is it gift ideas? Is it ornaments for the tree? Let me know either on the community tabs or down below in the comments and I will do my best to give you what you want. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back next Wednesday with a new video. Cheers.